I actually meant to talk about Jared Kushner in my live stream. Um, but I forgot. But I'm gonna talk about him right now. You wanna know what's so interesting? I've never done a video about Jared Kushner on my channel. I think I've mentioned him in passing on my channel when I was talking about something completely different, but his name just happened to come up. But this is the first time I'm actually addressing him. Now, I had a whole video that I did talking about how the NBA players were doing a boycott uh, with the playoffs because of what happened with Jacob Blake. But then I ended up deleting it maybe mere like a day later because that so-called boycott only lasted like a day. If that, <clears throat> excuse me. And I said that was quick. I said, then why even have a boycott that was pointless? And, you know, you know how that, you know, how all of that stuff goes. Not everyone's built for it. But anyway, water under the bridge. But I wanted to talk about these comments that Jared Kushner made toward those players. Now, granted, I am disappointed that they only had a one day or a less than 24 hour quote unquote boycott. But he came and made this comment that rubbed me the wrong way. And the comment was, they are lucky to be able to take a night off from work. This is coming from a guy from a, with a very privileged background and who married into a privileged family known as the Trumps. Cause you know, Ivanka Trump is his wife. Ironically, she never, she didn't take his last name. She still holds on to the Trump name. She didn't even hyphenate the name, but I've always seen Jared Kushner as this very soft spoken type of person. I always thought he was like a mute type of person, but ironically the time when he wants to talk the most is when it comes to these NBA players who we know are mostly or mainly black. Coincidence? I think not. And I said this before. I said Jared Kushner looks like something out of the Adams family. He just looks very Lurch Jr. to me. You know how Lurch is from Adams family. You know the, the housekeeper. Well, I don't want to call him a housekeeper, but he was more like the butler. And he didn't really talk. Uh, he made like grunts. He like <clears throat> like that. But when it comes to Jared Kushner, I always thought he did those same kind of grunts, but they came out a little soft. Like, hmm, hmm. That, that's what I call, kind of thought when I think of Jared Kushner. But now he has somehow found his voice to speak about these NBA players who are mostly black. And then said that he wanted to meet with LeBron James. You know what? Let me go ahead and just get into this article. White House senior advisor Jared Kushner said Thursday that the NBA players refusing to play in protest of a recent police shooting are lucky to be rich enough to be able to take a night off from work there he went in there and made sure he threw in rich enough mainly uh talking about their money you want to know what's so funny the reason why many pc people get upset when black people even have the nerve to speak up and speak out even if it's just slightly is because it's ruining their form of entertainment you gotta think we went through the last couple of months where they had to pretty much cut out all forms of entertainment, concerts, movies, sporting events, the Olympics, all of that had to be cut. Something as a form of entertainment to people, to them. They enjoy watching, you know, us entertain them. And for that to be cut off, it, 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 it literally hurt their little feelings. In the moment that it's cut back on, even at a slight inconvenience where they cannot go to the event themselves, but they can at least watch it. They were not about to let that, you know, uh, let this event that happened, even though it's way more serious than some sporting event. They weren't about to let that intervene. They love being entertained by us. It is historical when you think about it. Which is probably why they really couldn't, they, at the end of the day, had to implement putting black people into the NBA, into the NFL. Because let's be real here. Before 
we integrated into the major, you know, into the into the NFL, the NBA, and in the, in the Major League Baseball and stuff like that, it was quite boring. I always said that if you looked at a, a football game or a baseball game or a basketball game, you if, if it was just mainly white players that were playing, people would not enjoy it. And, and look, for instance, go to an NBA, if you, if you ever been to an NBA game, look at all the jerseys that people are wearing. Look at the jerseys white people are wearing. Are wearing. Nine times out of ten, the jersey they are wearing is that of a black player. Honestly. Same thing with football. Now, when it comes to hockey and, and, and baseball, that's different. Well, baseball is a mixed bag. It's very diverse. It's like a little bit of everything in there. Mainly white and Hispanic or Latino. But when it comes to hockey, it's mainly predominantly white. Hockey is probably the only major league sport that is still predominantly white. But the other ones are very diverse or mainly black. Okay, it says Kushner president. I'm sorry. Forty five son in law was asked on CNBC Squawk Box. What a name. The about the decision of the Milwaukee Bucks and the Orlando Magic to stay off the court following the shooting of Jacob Blake, a 29 year old black man who was shot in the back by police in Wisconsin on Sunday. All three NBA players. I'm sorry, all three NBA playoff games scheduled for Wednesday were postponed in light of the Bucks' protest. Teams other teams from other sports leagues follow suit. Look, I think that the NBA players are very fortunate that they have the financial position where they're able to take a night off from work without having to have the consequences to themselves financially. So they have that luxury, which is great, Kushner said. Now, that's a very backhanded comment to make considering the reason as to why they were doing it. He didn't even address why they were doing it. He just said, oh, well, they're lucky that they make a good enough money. You know, it goes back to Palm Colored throwing out there, well, they have no right to be upset because we are the ones that pay for these tickets. We pay for their jerseys. You know, we are the ones that help funnel millions into their pockets. They love to remind people that they provide for people. That's another part why I keep saying that they are not far removed from their ancestors because they still hold on to this thing where they feel they have complete economical control over black people's lives. Even if you're a multimillionaire, they still say they control and own you. That's what they're still saying subconsciously in their mind. And they even say it out loud. Look at what Laura Ingram said to LeBron James. What was it uh, last year? Just shut up and dribble. That's what she was saying. Like they're basically saying, look, we don't pay to hear your opinion about anything. We pay you. Or we come to see you dribble a ball up and down the court. We come to see you throw a football field up and down, back and forth, a 60-yard field. We don't pay to hear your opinion. You could be right about what you said, but we don't care. Because that's not what we want to see you for. To be quite honest, that's how they feel about all of us when we speak our mind. We don't even have to be in a position that these athletes are in. And they'll still feel the same exact way. Kushner added, look, I think that the NBA, there's a lot of activism and I think they put a lot of slogans out. But I think what we need to do is turn from that slogans and signals to actual action that's going to solve the problem. And that's another thing that gets me to with PC and some of their co-colonizing cohorts. We could have solutions. We could have all of this, but then they'll find a way to shut it down or infiltrate it and then shut it down. I wonder how many look at how many times in history black people have come up you know, with their own form of solutions and they've destroyed or shut down every last one of them. Or they shut it down and found a way to weasel their way in and snatch it up and use it to their own advantage. I'm telling you, the vast majority of PC are some savages. A spokesman for the NBA did not immediately respond to CNBC requests for comment. Kushner also praised 45's record on social justice listing accomplishments such as including and signing of the bipartisan criminal justice reform bill into law. He said the president's keynote address at the Republican National Convention on Thursday night will focus on how politicians in Washington, D.C. have failed U.S. inner cities for a long time. Well, to be quite honest, inner cities basically urban areas where mostly black people are are not the only failed places you know it's interesting because a lot of people love to say oh democrat ran cities have the most violence and everything like that and they might as well just say that's cold for black cities and everything like that but 
what they won't tell you is that a lot of conservative, quote unquote, and Republican ran cities and states have the most poverty. Look at Owsley County, Kentucky. I'm always going to bring that up. That is a severe red state where Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is over and is one of the poorest states, if not the poorest state in America, who gets the most welfare out of any state in the establishment. We go over this all the time, but they choose to ignore it. So to those of you who are listening to me right now, when they want to come at you with the, oh, these Democrat ran cities are the ones that have the most violent, which cold word, these black cities have the most violence. Or whenever they bring up Chicago, just throw it back at them and say, well, why are these Republican ran states and cities have the most poverty? You can go and look it up. Most of these so-called conservative areas have the most are leading. In poverty on a huge scale, but they don't talk about it. Like I always say, whenever they throw something at you, it's usually something that they're hiding about them. And that's the one thing that they always like to hide. Why don't they ever talk about Alston County, Kentucky? I would see if that was me and I had to sit in front of the ventriloquist dummy known as Mitch McConnell. I would be like, uh, what are you going to do about Alston County, Kentucky? I would be that one. And I could imagine a dumb look on his face when I asked that question. Because nobody talks about it. I think I'm one of the few people that always brings up Owsley County. Uh, let's see. Video footage of the shooting of Blake quickly launched an eruption of outrage toward law enforcement. Similar to what happened after police shootings in other cities, recent demonstrations in Kenosha, Wisconsin, turned violent with news outlets reporting protesters throwing projectiles at police and officers firing tear gas into crowds armed vigilante groups were also present at the demonstrations one person was arrested and they're talking about that kyle rittenhouse uh or rotten house as i call him one person was arrested wednesday and is facing homicide charges after allegedly shooting three people killing two on tuesday night uh Trump has taken a hardline stance against violence that has come out of a massive wave of protests against police brutality and systemic racism in the wake of George Floyd's death. He has called for the federal government to intervene in Kenosha to clamp down on the unrest, but has not tweeted or commented publicly about Blake shooting. And he won't unless he could find a way to spin it. But we know that he won't. And notice that he nor anyone else is not going to talk about how, um, you know, that the. the Two, the three people that were shot and the two that were killed were white, killed by a white boy. And one thing I forgot to mention in my live stream when I was talking about Kyle Rottenhouse is that he was a staunch Trump supporter. In case y'all didn't know, a picture has surfaced from back in 2016 when 45 did his initial run. Well, not. No, I don't think it was 2016 because he would have been very, very young. I think it was recent. It had to be recent. I wouldn't be surprised. It probably was in Oklahoma. I can't think. But it was a picture that came out where Kyle Rottenhouse was at one of those rallies. Like they took a picture of 45 and right there on the front, like in the side, they pointed him out and said that was him. One thing I can say about social media, if they want to get somebody, they're going to go and dig deep. That's why they say the Internet is undefeated. And you got to be careful what you put out there because it could come back and bite you. Later Thursday morning, Kushner told Politico that while it's nice to see the players speaking out, I like to see them start moving into concrete solutions that are productive. And they always like to throw that out there. And like I said, it goes back to, oh, if you, if you do come up with solutions, they're going to find a way to shut it down or they're going to try to find a way to hold it off. They are not slick at all. Reminded that NBA superstar and LeBron James has made significant contributions beyond protest. And Kushner said the Trump administration was open to starting a dialogue with them, which ain't really going to amount to anything. If LeBron James reached out to the White House or we could reach out to him, we're happy to talk with him and say, look, let's both agree on what we want to accomplish and let's come up with a common pathway to get there. Kushner told Politico that he has not yet contacted James and I probably doubt that he will. But added, I'll reach out to him today. I wonder if he actually did. I won't hold my breath. I don't trust it at all. I really don't. I don't trust this whole thing. And I don't trust Jerry Kushner. I really don't. Look, look at him. Look at him. I would not be surprised if he had somebody under his belt. I'm just saying. It's the And I swear, Jerry Kushner looks like he. And who was it? Uh. 
one of Trump's sons, not Don Jr., the other one, Eric. They both look like they go purging. If the annual purge was a thing, something tells me these two probably would engage. Hell, they don't even need a mask. Their face is the mask.